Hello everyone and welcome back to Winders Model Farms. So today I just wanted to do a video kind of showing a um, little project I did on some of my John Deere 8000 series tractors. Um, it kind of all started off with, you saw our last review video, we had this John Deere 8R370, um, came from Ertl and it was on singles in the front and back. And I didn't like that. Uh, I think it looks stupid, to be honest with you. Uh, just Ertl being lazy. They've done it a lot. And actually, all four of these tractors had singles in the back. Um, I've got another one here I didn't get to today. Eventually, I will. But here's the 8295R. So you can see how they just have these singles all the way around. Ertl's done this a lot. Like I said, all these were in that kind of condition. Here's another example, this 8130, which is actually what this one is. Singles all the way around. And so I figured I would do something about that. And um, I started off and just kind of kept going with it. Uh, first, I took an 84, 8R410, non-prestige. We already have the prestige version. And so really there's no reason for us to keep the 8R410 non-prestige. This was the same tractor with less detail, same model number. So I just took my panel pulling pliers and popped these tires off, heated them up with a heat gun, popped them off, and then popped them, drilled the rivet out on this one because the singles, they're always on a rivet. So you drill, which this one's kind of weird because both sides are like rounded, but normally they come like this. So you can drill that side right there. It's more of like a hole and drill it out pretty quick and easy. And so I drilled the rivet out and then popped these tires on. And you know, you don't see Ertl making a lot of toys like this. I think it's just kind of a lazy thing for them. Uh, they don't want to put in the effort, spend a little bit of money. So you don't see it. But I really like the duels in the back, singles in the front. We really haven't got any toys like that John Deere ones since like the 8330, which has been forever. This was my go-to toy as a kid, one of the few we had. And uh, we had a 20 series and then this 30 series, and um, we did a lot of farming, which this isn't the original one I have. I still have that one, but it's a little more beat up. I love that. Duels in the back, singles in the front. They still do it on the 7Rs, but not on some of the 8Rs. So I thought this would look good. We also saw some at a dealership when we bought this one up in Michigan. Uh, we were traveling, and they were 8R 250s. So I'm thinking about ordering a decal, a 250 decal, and actually making this one an 8R 250. Um, since we already do have an 8R 370, we've got the Farm Show Edition one. So we really don't need another... 370 so I thought about making that one a 250 um, Next one I did is an 8370R so tractor that was replaced by the 8R370 um, This is the one that came in 75th anniversary Ertl set and it also had singles now I'm not completely done with these I am going to paint that little my axle yellow so it does match and doesn't stick out with the uh, metal axle so I took the original tires this had, and then the tires that came off of this one, the single, and just dueled them up and added a spacer in there that was um, left over from another John Deere tractor at one time I took apart to kind of give it appropriate looking width. So now I've got a 8370R, duels in the back, singles in the front. I think that one looks really well. Then next in line, I took, this is an 8335R, it came on a semi with an 8235R, both of them were on singles, the 8235R was on bigger singles and this one was on narrower, which I never understood that, why the higher horsepower tractor had smaller tires, but anyways, and I've always wanted to put duels on this one, so finally was able to do that, I think this looks so much better, so 8335R, a little bit older of an 8R, a generation older than that one, I guess. And uh, I think that one turned out okay. Like these have smaller tires, not quite as tall as these newer ones. Um, not as much room under the fenders. 
and a little bit of a I think just a mess up on Ertl here you can see the fenders aren't lined up exactly with the tires and that was the way it was when it was on singles just a little bit of a this side's a little better but just a kind of a factory flaw you can see the split this casting it's crooked so it doesn't quite line up right on that and then this one is actually one I did like a year ago or so or maybe longer I ordered these tires put them on there so this one I'd already had but I just want to show it as well but I really like this look especially for these 8Rs um, I think it looks nice I wish they'd make some more toys like that in the 8000 series and also for the Case IH Magnums and for the New Holland tractors because still a lot of farms that get them that way um, so I think it'd be neat to see some more toys that way anyways if you like this video give us a thumbs up leave us a comment and subscribe to our channel thanks for watching